Let's solve one previous question of RA. This question was asked in GATE CS 2015 set 3 question number 30. Consider the following two C code segment. These are the code segment Y and X are one and two dimensional RA of size N and N cross N respectively. So Y is a one dimensional RA, X is a two dimensional RA and n value range between 2 and 10 it's greater than equals to 2 and less than equals to 10 assume that in both code segment elements of y are initialized to 0 and each element of x i j of r x is initialized to i plus j further assume that when stored in main memory all element of x are in same memory page frame and two core segments are given which of the following statements each or are correct three statements are given and four options are given this question size is big so while reading the question also write the important point like y is a one dimensional array x is a two dimensional array y size is n x size is n cross n n range between 2 and 10 and in initialization y equals to 0 x i j equals to i plus j let's take n equals to 4 you can take any n value range between 2 and 10 i am considering n equals to 4 now code segment 1 initialize element of y to 0 next initialize elements of x i j of x to i plus j so y all value will be 0 and in x i j it will be i plus j for i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus y i plus equals to x 0 i first initialization all elements of y will be 0 next x i j will be i plus j so x 0 0 will be 0 plus 0 x 0 1 will be 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 2 0 plus 3 3 next 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 2 3 1 plus 3 4 like this fill the x table now we will run this code initially i 0 and i will continue till it's less than 4 when n equals to 4 so i value will be 0 1 2 3 now for i equals to 0 y 0 will be y 0 plus x 0 0 y0 is 0, x00 0, 0 is also 0, so we got 0. Next, for i equals to 1, y1 will be y1 plus x01. All y value are 0, so write 0. Then x01 is 1, 0 plus 1, 1. Next, for i equals to 2, y2 equals to y2 plus x02. y2 is 0, x02 is 2. 0 plus 2, 2. Next for i equals to 3, y3 will be y3 plus x03. x03 is 3, so 0 plus 3, we got 3. Now by running code segment 1, we got this y value. So y value has changed previously, all value are 0, now it's 0, 1, 2, 3. Next code segment 2, first initialize element of y to 0. This is first initialization. Then initialize element of x i j of x to y plus j. This is our second initialization. Now for i equals to 0, i less than n i plus plus y i plus equals to x i 0. So y i equals to y i plus x i 0. Let's run this code. This i value will range from 0 till 4. i is less than n. We consider n equals to 4. So i value can be 0, 1, 2, 3. It's less than 4. For i equals to 0, y0 0 will be y0 0 plus x0, 0, 0. y0 is 0, x0, 0, 0 is 0. Next for i equals to 1, y1 will be y1 plus x1, 0. This is our y1 and this is our x1, 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Next for i equals to 2, y2 will be y2 plus x20. y2 is 0, x20 is 2. 
0 plus 2 is 2. Then for i equals to 3, y3 three equals to y3 plus x3 0. y3 is 0, x3 0 is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. Now by core segment 2, we got this y array. Both core segment 1y and core segment 2y are same. Both contain 0, 1, 2, 3. Now let's read the statement. Statement 1, final content of RAY will be same in both core segment. This is true. Both final content are same. It's 0, 1, 2, 3. Next statement 2, elements of RAX assist inside the for loop zone in core segment 1 are contiguous in main memory. Yes, we assess like this. We assess first 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. If we store in row major order in main memory, then it's contiguous. Here, it's not given about the storage. So, by default, we'll consider row major order. If R storage is row major order, then this will be in contiguous. So, statement 2 is true in case of row major order. Next statement 3, elements of RAX assist inside the for loop shown in code segment 2 are contiguous in main memory. According to code segment 2, we assess this data of X like column and by default we store in row major order. That's why it's false. If it's given that column major order, then it will be contiguous. But it's not given about storage. So by default, it's row major order. And these data are stored in column wise. That's why it's not contiguous in main memory. So statement 3 is false. Answer will be statement 1 and statement 2 is present in option C. So only S1 and S2 are correct and S3 is false. Suppose in question it's given column major order. Then S1 and S3 will be true and S2 will be false. It's not given anything, so by default we are considering row major order. That's why S1 and S2 are true and S3 is false. In core segment 1, we are assessing first row and in core segment 2, we are assessing first column. I already discussed one dimensional array and two dimensional array. Just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.